dear friends this is my tutorial to iphone 2 so in this tutorial you can learn how to create input file for d block metal complexes for uh, windows machine and also linux machine so this is the system i'm going to tell you how to create the input file for gaussian calculation so this material actually copper trimethyl and uh, monoethyl substituted uh, copper 3 complex the overall charge of this complex is minus 1 due to so plus 3 of uh, this copper so now just we will open a uh, gauss view so i will tell you how to model this um, copper complex so for that just to click this here uh, C fragment so just you can go there copper is there different variety is there so which one you want you can select so we want this planar structure only so just that one and uh, just click here so we will see the planar structure then you click uh, again click same place and uh, go to C carbon so we need a methyl group just to click methyl group so this highlighted part is shield here means it will connect to the corresponding Part. okay if you are highlighting this means it will connect to that part so uh, while creating molecule just to see this one this is very important so is highlighted here so it will connect uh, carbon to this uh, this H play place so just click it will replace then see formed so and also four tetramethyl we had it so we need to make this methyl to ethyl so for that again just to click that H2 one more time that CH4 molecule it will create CH3 so now we created our molecule so now we can save as a uh, save the file for Gaussian calculation just to go to file so just to go file and if you click you can see the save so now, now you can save your file here so create a name so then we can um, ch3 me3 copper c2 h5 so this is the just we can give your name name of the system that's enough so here you can see the Gaussian input file dot gjfr dot com okay these uh, two files are default file format for Gaussian calculation so just if you save it will save as a dot gjf if you want also you can save dot com file so first you will save dot uh, gjf file for windows calculation yeah that's all so we have created that one so you can also see that total number of electrons of your system so if you see here the total number of electrons 73 is there it's showing that 73 electron uh, neutral is a doublet because uh, so is default is saved like that just you go to the so it, this is the one we saved so so just open that one so default it saved assume that total charge is zero that uh, that means neutral that doublet the 73 electron is there that uh, default doublet um, spin multiplicity is doublet will come so we that uh, actually the charges is minus one so i will tell you how to create that input file so that's all so i already created the input file for uh, windows calculation for this system just i will show you so this is the system if you are running calculation the file format should be that dot gjf format so click this so this is the input file so first is dot chk you need to type that one equal to me3 copper the name of the system and the memory this is very important then if you are using that windows machine just you can give 6 milli million words okay this is the number of process uh, processor you used pro chat and processor shared that means how many cores you are using from your computer so you can if you are using uh, desktop just you give two that's enough so this is the root section 
so this is very important this is the theory this is the uh, root section keywords so this is the very important things that optimization and it will then the frequency will do calculation this is the first one this second task so first it will optimize the system then it will run the frequency calculations okay this is then you can give one space then you can give the molecule molecular system name okay then the overall the system then more important thing is this is the charge charge of the system so actually the this i already told you the charge of the system minus one okay then that is the spin multiplicity so i already told you already i told you in i already told you that while drawing the uh, on the metal complex so it will show you the 73 electron neutral doublet okay so now we are adding one electron to the system that means a total charge will come minus one okay that that means the spin multiplicity will change that means it will come the 74 electron okay 74 uh, electron then it will change into the uh, spin multiplicity singlet okay so so now you can also see this uh, file using this gas view to check the spin multiplicity so this if you see this is total number of electrons showing the 74 the charge is minus 1 this singlet okay so if you see the we drawn one is to uh, 73 electron neutral doublet okay so we need to carefully check this uh, charge and uh, multiplicity otherwise you will end up with that uh, spin multiplicity error so yeah that's it yeah and that's all the charge uh, charge and multiplicity these are the cartesian coordinate of the metal complex so now you have to give the basis set of the system so this is the basis set for 631 g star is basis set for carbon hydrogen okay then you have to put a zero so this is the basis set for uh, the non metal atom like carbon hydrogen so then you have to give four star that means end of the basis set then without to space you need to type uh, metal comp metal system so metal system won't run with this basis set so you need to use uh, lanel 2dz okay uh, different basis set so here you type copper is zero this is for valence electron basis set so we need um, this is that will take as a valence electron then you need to give the one space then you have to give copper and space zero and lanel 2d this, this is for the uh, effective core potential that means ECP electron that will treat uh, this basis set will treat effective core potentials okay so that's all then you finally give some space then only the calculation done otherwise you will also get some error so that's all this is the simple input file for the uh, metal complexes d block metal complexes you can use this file to, uh, modify according to the your system you can do your uh, calculation okay then you can save this that's all so this is the system so if you want to use the linux machine uh, for that you need to do some important changes so this is the linux machine input file for gaussian calculation so here other things are same the memory you need to give some more i think based on your uh, supercomputer or uh, server clusters based on that you need to give some more memory here so then also you can also change the info shared equal to 40 based on your co computer processor supercomputer processor okay so this important two things you need to change always other things are the same for this molecule so I already told you this is the basis set for uh, light atom light atoms so, so this is the valence electron this for the um, effective core potentials core electrons okay so if you do want to do the Gaussian calculation in the Linux you need to 
you need you have, you, you have to save as a dot com file then only you can submit into the linux system for that just to go save as and here dot com remove and you can change into dot com that's all your file will change into the ms dos application format so you can submit this system to the linux machine so you can also open and see this with the uh, notepad plus plus yeah that's all so uh, this is very simple things you can also try yourself uh, making a uh, gauss input file using gauss view and, uh, and 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 also try to run yourself for windows so i already tested this calculation with the windows so this is the output file so the calculation is i think completed that day itself so this you see the force and uh, everything there converted is it will show it will send yes 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 that means the system optimized optimization completed yeah you can see the normal termination of gaussian and calculations so oh, that's all so you can try yourself thanks for watching uh, for my video please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for my further up updates videos thank you thank you for watching thank you for your time